It's a tank, dude. Oh my dude. god. It's a 10 pounder. Let's go! Let's go! Oh my Let's god, go. dude! Go. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> That's a giant! That's a freaking giant! That's my PB! Yo, what is up, Slabaroonies? Welcome back to another episode. We are at the slab house right now, but uh, I've actually got the boat here, and we are about to take off. Forgot to charge my trolling motor batteries last night, so we're waiting around for a little bit. Getting kind of a late start. Go figure, there's always something. But today, guys, we're actually headed to a lake. Uh, we're going to a, a small lake where you can actually launch a big boat. This is a lake I haven't been to too many times, but apparently it's got really, really big fish in it. Guys, it's cold, it's December. Um, you know, it's water's probably like... I don't even know. We're gonna have to see when when we get there, but maybe like in the in the mid 50s, maybe even lower than that. But really, it's gotten that cold like really fast. So usually, what that means this time of year is early December around here in North Carolina. It will just turn on and just the bite will be on fire. And guys, what that means is one thing: it is officially a rig season. We've got the A-Rig tied on. Uh, we're definitely gonna be throwing that a lot today. I think we're gonna do kind of a little like how-to tips and tricks vid on the A-Rig today. Uh, I'm probably gonna pick it up and not even put it down the whole day potentially. So yeah, we're gonna break down, uh, do a little bit more advanced tips on A-Rigs. I know I've talked about the A-Rig a little bit on the channel here, but uh, there's some more nuance to it that I wanna kind of break down in this video. And hopefully we can get on a big old A-Rig bag because I've caught some huge fish around these parts on an A-Rig this time of year. So I'm really excited. I, I hope it's on today. We'll see y'all out there. Right up, boys. Okay, guys, we're on the water and uh, it's choppy out here. Phew. Sorry about the wind noise. You guys are probably getting a lot of uh, like wind static right now on the mic, but yeah, it's it's super super windy. We knew it was gonna be like this, but you know, it's once you get out here, it's always a little different. You're like, yeesh, yeesh. There's white caps everywhere. But honestly, that can make for really good fishing. We're just gonna have to find out here. We're gonna have to toss that a rig around pretty much all over this lake. We could, we're gonna be able to cover it all today. It's small enough. Real quick guys, before we get this video started, I wanted to announce the giveaway winner from uh, our tournament win video with A-Dub. Jay Fournier, you are the winner of our giveaway. We're gonna ship those baits out. Uh, just hit us up on Instagram, DM, DM us on Instagram or Facebook with your address uh, and we can get those baits shipped out to you. Congrats, buddy. All right, boys, let's get it. All right, guys, it is freaking windy out here. Like, look at these waves. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's just like, yeesh. It's not terrible, though. It's doable. We're gonna make it happen. A lot of times these fish will get fired up in this wind, so apologies ahead of time for the wind noise in the mic. God, it's gonna be so hard to cast in this, though. This spot might be, like, out of commission right now. <laughs> I can't, I can't even cast this thing right now. <laughs> Crazy. These eight, these laydowns look good right here. It doesn't work, dude. There he is, big, big, big. Yeah, holy crap, it's a giant, guys. It's a giant, giant. Holy crap, he slammed it too, boys. He slammed it. Get the net. <laughs> yeah, this side. Oh, my. oh no. Oh, jeez, jeez. Don't break it. Oh, bro, he's so powerful. These fish are so powerful. Oh, yeah, this side, this side, this side, this side. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, that's a giant. Hey, let me get off. The, let me get off the bank. We're getting, we're getting blown up. Yes. <laughs> that's what we came oh, here for, right there, boys. That's what we came here for. That's all freaking chunk bro that's a chunk do we have our scale ah! bro why did we forget so much stuff dude it's all good if it's big enough yeah we'll uh 
Yeah, we'll talk to someone. Oh, dude, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. He hit the outside bait. He hit that outside uh, like Texas rig bait, which is great, man. Most people think you got to rig a jig head on those bottom two outside ones, but you don't, man. You'll get just as much hookups on those. Look at that fish. He's, that's a big one, dude. It's thick from That is a big one. <laughs> He's Hell. thick. That thing's in the six range right there. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's get her in the live well. Holy moly. We're going to try to go for a dirty 30 today, boys. Okay. All right, guys, she's in the live well. Uh, we're going to potentially, you know, try to catch a really big bag today. So, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, my up. God. I'm so psyched right now. That's exactly what we came out here for, boys. Let's go get another one. <clears throat> I, like I would have put a bigger one on than that, to be honest. Like, right, you have to really manage them. Oh, come on. Insta hang. How the hell? Old bark. Yep. Get him. Yeah, that's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, geez, sorry. <laughs> Keep him down. Bring him up. He's ready. He's about a three, four. <laughs> Got him. Good job. Let's go, baby. Let's go. It's all right. I was so one. nervous. I couldn't nice even talk. Heck yeah, baby. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> hey, good call on the bait. A rig was getting hung up for me, so that's a nice this. one. That's a, that, he's pushing four. That's my PB lake fish. For real? Yeah. Dang, boy. Good job. Fish ponds all the time, dude. And golf courses. Hey, that's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. We're working on a sack, boys. Yes, we are. Bro, we'll that, put him was, in the live that well. was nuts. <laughs> Dude, I smacked CJ in the back with my air rig. I went like this whoo, to get the net, and it went bam on his back. In the live well, dude. All right, I'm hell happy, yeah. Man. Good job. Here, boys, we got like we got like ten pounds and two fish. Let's go. Sunglasses? No, I just got him. Yeah. Keep him down. Keep him down. Keep him down. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh no! Got him, baby. <laughs> oh, let's go. That's another tank. Oh, that's in the. It's in the five range right there. <clears throat> let's go. <laughs> Come on, man. That's what I'm talking about right there. Look how fat she is. Dude, Holy he's moly. Fast. Oh my God. That's a chug, dude. bro. Yo, we're working on a dirty 30 right now, boys and girls. That is a chunk. She's like pushing five. I'd say she's maybe like a high four. She's short. Get her in the live one, man. Dude, That's another one on the swim bait. So basically, swim bait imitations. That that color might be kind of key too. Let's go, bro. <laughs> Let's freaking go. <laughs> back there all right guys we've moved back down the lake uh, and we're basically going to do another pass on all this bank that we've we've been fishing we've been keying in on lay downs and that's really where um lay downs is really where these fish have been so we're going to just try to keep fishing a lot of these lay downs and this side of the lake really has them a lot kind of thicker than the other side of the lake the other side of the lake's super flat this side of the lake's deep it's got these steep walls and all these lay downs that's kind of where they've been. There he is. There he is. Biggin. Biggin. Oh my god, yeah, that's a giant. Oh, come on. She's digging so hard, bro. Here she comes, here she comes, here she comes. Hold on. Yes, sir! No, baby! That's a giant! Oh my god! Bro! That's a tank! That is a freaking Mondo! Holy moly! Boys, check that out! 
boom, right in the corner of the mouth. That's a nice long fish, man. They're just so healthy out here. Like, look how just thick that tail is. Powerful, dude. They got power. Like that thing was like digging down. Shoot. That's a nice one. That's 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 in the fives. All right, we got four boys. We got four. We need one more, and we got ourselves a freaking sack. <laughs> oh yes, it is on today, baby. A rig season. <clears throat> one more, baby. Let's get it. That's a freaking giant! That's my PB! Oh no, my god. god! Holy moly! That might be more than 10! Holy moly! We got a dirty 30! <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. That is a certified giant, dude! Oh my god! That is a giant! <laughs> oh my god! Holy moly, dude! That's, that's a 10 plus, for sure! Oh my god, y'all, look at this freaking fish. That is insane. That is huge. <laughs> That's the biggest bass of my life by far. That's over 10. Here. All right, we got to get her in the well. Look at that. Look at how he just mangled this thing, dude. Look at that. Nice. It's a giant. That's why you take the snaps off of your A-rig right there. Guys, I don't, I don't know. I've never seen a fish that big in my life except for a replica of like a 16 pounder it's very possible that could be a teener like that could be a teener dude that's insane i honestly insane <laughs> absolutely insane guys we have almost certainly cleared a dirty 30 i mean i know we have three fish in the five pound class range or better and then one fish that at worst case scenario is a high three so, I mean, you figure like we've got like nearly 20 pounds or more than 20 pounds with four fish. And then, you know, that fifth one, I think, you know, I think we squarely are over, over 30 pounds, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to be disappointed no matter what. Oh, that's it. We're calling it. Uh, we got someone from Instagram who's going to come out here to the ramp and give us a scale. His name's Joshua. Uh, so we're gonna take these fish in and get them weighed, see what they weigh. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, man. It, it, we might have a double digit. I'm like the sandbagger in me is starting to just doubt everything. But uh, let's let's get back in. Let's see what they weigh. Yes, victory. <laughs> worst case scenario, I know it's above eight, and then worst case scenario for the bag, it's like 28 or 29 or something like that. But I'm. I'm just nervous, man. I'm nervous. What's Never caught on? one this big. I don't know. What are you doing? If I can do a one hand push up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was great. Nailed it. Good job. The face of a man who has succeeded. It's dope. Alrighty, folks, we're back here at the ramp. We have actually got our buddy here, Joshua. He's got a scale, so he came through in the clutch. So we're gonna be able to get these fish weighed, see how big they are. I think we got a dirty 30. I'm like, my mind is spinning right now. I've just been so nervous. Like, oh man, we just gotta get these fish weighed. <laughs> get them weighed, get them back in the water. And um, we're gonna take a few pics of the big one and also get some measurements because I'm going to end up getting a mount of this big one. Uh, we're going to release her. It's going to be a replica. You know, you don't have to keep a fish in order to get them out. So, but I've actually never been through this process. So we're going to take our time, make sure we do this right. Let's get it. This is one of those. We got to go up under here. All right, 
this thing zeroed out, right? It's not all the way through. Yeah, good. All right, let's see here. Five point. 5.48. All right. Tank. <laughs> That's a beast right there. We're going to let her go. We're going to let these fish go. Thank you, girl. Go back. Become a 10. Another tiny one. <laughs> tiny. A tiny. That's our smallest one. That, no, I is think it? there's one smaller. One a little bit smaller, maybe. Jeez. Make sure That's it's still maybe. a four pounder. I haven't right. used one of these scales in a minute. It's got. Four point four three is what I saw on there. It's, uh, yeah, four point. Uh, we're gonna say four point four because it's sent at four point three eight, four point four. Yeah, four point four. Yep. Another nice one. Another beautiful fish. That's like one of our smallest ones. Unreal. See you, baby. Dance? She gonna dance? No. She's just gonna meander off. That's the smallest one. That's that one's big. coming in at 3.46. 3. 3. 3.46. 3.46. 3. It's gonna be close. We might not have the 30. Mm. That's a big one right there. Yeah. yeah. That's a good fish. Oh, All right. Let me just make sure it gets in there. Here we go. Good. Yeah. Oh, she's heavy. Six. 6.28. 6.28. It might be bouncing around, but that's what it, it paused on. Yeah. 6.28. Wow. Freaking stud. Holy crap, y'all. I mean, that, that fish alone is just, that's a beauty. Yeah, Bro. She might be cool. <gasps> Guys, last, but certainly not least. Oh, old big. Holy freaking moly. Dude, <laughs> look at that fish, Josh. <laughs> that thing is a giant. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get this scale like in her in her mouth. All right, try to go up under. That's I mean, that's yeah. usually your best bet. Look at that. Yeah, she's it's through. All right, don't tell me, don't tell me. Hold on, hold on. It's, it's touching. It's touching. Maybe oh, this it's way. touching. <laughs> Dude, it's a 10 10.18. 8. 10 yes. 10. <laughs> 10. Oh, I can't hold, Here, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 10.9. It's almost 11. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Here, yeah, on. Hold it still. There it is. 10.9. It's 10.9. I saw it pause. Yeah. 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 We're going to say 10.9. It keeps going back and forth between 10.93. And 10.86. That's almost an 11 pound bass right there, baby. Let's go. Is it a dirty 30? Oh my that God. is a dirty it's 30. A dirty, 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 dirty 30. Dirty 30. Woo! <laughs> Let's go, boys. That is what I'm talking about right there. Come on. Come on. There she goes. <laughs> All right, guys, we're off the water. I wanted to really quickly break down what we were doing today. What I've got here, this is actually really basic. This is a Yumbrella Flash Mob Junior. You can pick it up pretty much at Walmart, Bass Pro Shops. This thing is like probably the most widely available A-Rig on the market. And the first thing that is important to know is, you know, out here, our water, the deepest spots we were fishing were probably like 13, 14 feet. And a lot of what we were fishing was like physical hardcover, laydowns, wood, rocks. One of the keys that I think when you're fishing that type of stuff, especially laydowns and wood, is you need this thing to be able to float, okay? It needs to be able to have some, some buoyancy in the water. You don't want it to ride up like right on the surface, but you want to be able to kind of slow roll it and have this thing kind of creep really slowly, but still be able to come up and stay kind of high in the water column. That's gonna help you worm this bait over cover and logs a lot easier. The other thing that I do with my A-Rigs, and, and I've talked about this a lot on this channel, I use these, these belly weighted swim bait hooks on my two bottom outside baits. 
And if you think about it, you know, these two baits, these are the lowest, they hang down the lowest. And when you're coming over a limb, you know, that, that head is gonna hit first, but then it's gonna catch these two wires and come up on these baits. And if you've got a jig head like this, that thing can so easily turn and get hung up. I mean, look at that, I'm just doing it with my hand. And it's, I, mean, I would hook myself. Uh, so I think that's a huge, huge key when you are fishing, you know, this, this shallower, dingier water, lay downs, rocks, any kind of physical cover, brush, brush piles. Uh, I think that is absolutely necessary. And as you guys saw today, I think I caught all of my fish. I mean, look at this one. This one's torn in half. I'm pretty sure that giant one hit that bait right there. Uh, and I think I caught, I'll have to go back and look at the footage. I think I caught all my fish on one of these outside baits. And then the last thing is guys, uh, and this is something I picked up from Matt Allen uh, from Tactical Bass. And I talked about this in, in the winter fishing baits video we just did. These umbrellas they come with snap swivels so you can attach your baits really quickly. And as if you'll notice here, I've taken those off. I've cut the snap part off, left just the swivel and I replaced the snap with a really strong split ring. That's just a few tips, guys. The other, the other thing is I'm actually throwing this on, this is 20 pound Gamma Polyflex. It's like a copolymer line. Sometimes I use 20 pound Big Game. I just happen to have the Polyflex laying around, so I tied that on. Man, it's great. It's got a little bit of stretch. It's still got some of the, the great properties of fluorocarbon though. You know, it'll, it'll sink a little bit. Uh, but you really don't want like a pure fluorocarbon, in my opinion. You want something that floats a little bit so you can really get it up over that cover. And then something that stretches a little bit too. I really think that's key. When those fish hammer this thing, God, they destroy it. They absolutely destroy it. And then, then they're digging and digging. When you got a little bit of stretch in your line, you can just handle them, man. You, you just, you know, a heavy, stretchy line is, is really good. So this is perfect for this water. And if you have water that's, that has big fish, lay downs, physical cover, I would recommend mimicking a setup, you know, similar to this. So that's all I got, guys. Hope you like this video. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. We go out and we do stuff like this all the time. We keep chasing big fish. And yeah, that's what it's all about, guys. Big fish, especially big bass. So we'd love if you consider subscribing. That's all we got, guys. Thank you so much. And remember, all it takes is one. Slab out.